All right, welcome back, everybody. We are going to do a pod review today on one of these peppers. I got a couple to choose from here. It's getting late, and all the plants are dropping their leaves. I have to uh, prune all this down, remove all the leaves, give it a quick spray so hopefully there ain't no insects, and then bring this all indoors. And boy, that ain't going to be fun. But we got a pepper variety right over there, and take a look at it. This is called the brown jalapeno. Jalapeno. I'm surprised the slugs didn't nail this one. It looks very similar to the, uh, to the, what do you call this thing? Ethiopian brown. It's not the same thing, though. Ethiopian browns will get a lot bigger, and they'll get, like, a real satin color to them. I don't know if these get satin or not, but I know it's a brown jalapeno, though. Yeah, boy. And we'll talk about this in a second here. So I got one more here I want to pick. Okay. Pick this one. Right. I got three here to choose from. And da 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 da. There it is. The brown jalapeno. And um, these things could get these are known to get very, very large, these jalapenos. They can get like six six something inches long, something like that, maybe even a little bigger. They can get really, really huge. And as you can see, these aren't exactly small to begin with. These are got some size to them. So they can, you know, they're a little bit bigger than the average jalapeno. And this has been crowded out, really. I didn't know that the plant was going to stay short. Or I would have kept it up front. Or I would have put it somewhere else. I put all the plants that I thought were going to get big over here. And a lot of them just didn't get big. They stay small. So, unfortunately, they didn't grow very big. And they didn't put out very many fruit. But next year, I'll plant them outside. And they'll get all the sun in the world. But we did manage to get some off of here. And uh, like I said, these can get quite large. I've seen pictures of these things where they're, you know, like six inches long and maybe twice as fat as one of these, maybe one and a half times as fat. So they can get pretty large, these peppers. So that's it. Let's turn you around and give one of those a go. All right, welcome back, everybody. We are doing a pod review today. It's going to be on this pepper right here, and this is called the brown jalapeno. That's all I know it by. That's how I receive the seeds. And that's what it is. And like I said earlier, these peppers can get quite large. They can get pretty huge. They get like six inches, maybe even larger than that. And uh, they're monsters. That's a, definitely a monster-sized pepper. You can do a lot with that on the grill. But today, we are just going to taste test this. So without any further ado, let's give this one a go. Mmm. It's got a nice flavor to it. Very smooth for a jalapeno. It's just a, very, a lot of times the early jalapenos, mid mid range jalapenos, uh, a lot of store bought versions of commercial jalapenos, a lot of times they got bite, like a bite to the flavor, and they're bred that way to be like that. This is an heirloom variety of jalapeno, and it's generally not going to have that type of um, bite or even flavor to it, if you will. It does have a jalapeno taste to it, but it just doesn't have that commercial bite. It's more mild. Maybe because it's I let it turn brown too, but it's got a nice flavor to it. Let me take another bite. It doesn't really have that classic jalapeno flavor to it. It might a little bit, but not very much. It generally tastes like... Um, I'm not even sure what to say. It really tastes like maybe an anum type of flower. I, well, it is an anum, but I mean, it do, it just has a an interesting flavor to it. It doesn't really it doesn't really taste like really anything I know. It has a smooth, nice, sweet, uh, slight peppery flavor. Doesn't necessarily taste like jalapeno, though. It does seem like it has some undertones of it. Maybe I can't, it's really hard to pick these flavors up. The, the pepper itself has a sweetness to it, it, and it's very smooth. That's the best word I can use to describe it. That's the word that keeps coming to my mind. And very smooth and easy to eat. I just ate off that whole thing. Really not too hot on the heat. I will talk about the heat in a second. The texture of the pepper is really strange. 
it's um it's not exactly soft per se but it's soft in, in, in an odd way but, but yet firm the skins aren't really tough they chew up easy and it breaks up like a like a very delectable type of vegetable i'm thinking maybe like a crunchy lettuce or something a very interesting effect on the on the uh, flesh on it the flavor again is very smooth it's the heat on it's almost like a mild bacadam burn it's just like a a warm glowing type of anim burn it's not necessarily bacadam type of glowing more like anim but it just affects my mouth in different areas than a uh, bacadam normally does it's mostly the heat is right now it's mostly towards the back of the tongue and where you swallow not really the tonsils just the back of the tongue and going into the back of the throat a little bit not really hitting the tonsils a little bit very light heat across the top of the tongue a little bit across the front of the mouth slightly if i was to put a scoville on this i'd probably say around 1500 scovilles it's not very bad and it's not a stinging type of burn this is more like a uh a very mild burn now what did they do to create this pepper what did they cross it with i have no idea but i i can't i mean it's called a jalapeno but to me that's doesn't have that jalapeno flavor and i don't know i, I it's not really jalapeno like to me but it's what it is that's what they call it, it does have a kind of a slight taste but not 100 percent. maybe because it's fully ripe maybe that's what what happens the flavors go out a little I don't know. We'll, we'll grow it out next year. We'll taste one green, I guess, and then we'll, uh, you know, we'll eat another brown one. But the Scovilles are relatively pretty low on this. They're, I thought it was going to be Scorcher. I guess I was wrong on that. But again, we're going to bring it out next year. We're going to winter it over. We will, um, we'll, we'll plant it in the garden. Let it get full sun. Let it stress through the winter, you know, through the summers, and we'll see if the heat comes up and the flavors change. A lot of times they don't. But sometimes they do. A lot of times they do, actually, you know. So it's kind of hit or miss. It could just be because it's kind of shaded out and, you know, and uh, that plant grew excessively big this year, which I didn't plan on it to do. I had no idea it was going to do what it did. I mean, it just literally basically overgrew everything, even the cucumbers and beans. Normally the beans, are, are, they take over, but that plant was like a mistake planting it. So, yeah, I kind of paid the price for that a little, but I needed something to, uh, you know, um, shade naturally shade cloth the uh, inside of the greenhouse from that intense sun this year but yeah it's a good pepper i definitely would uh, give it a grow if you wanted to try something different it's again it's a mild pepper uh it's easy to grow it does produce quite a few fruits if you pick the fruits early when they're green you're going to get a much larger harvest than if you wait for everything to ripen so if you're not really worried about saving seeds, I'd say pick it early and even uh, possibly even let the fruits ripen on your table. Wait till they just start to turn a little bit brown or start to change color. Pick them then, let them ripen on the table, and let that plant start to get those other flowers out so you can get another harvest. That's the type of plant that I would uh, this this would be uh, best for, you know. And if you really want those, uh, you know, those, those really long peppers, well, full sun, and you're definitely going to have to prune it back the first season pick the flowers off at the beginning of the season so you don't get an early too early of a bloom and then the next bloom that comes out of those uh the plant other than the very first flowers uh they should give you some pretty large peppers so what i'll do guys is i'll leave whatever information i have on the brown jalapeno in the description below i will also leave a link where you can visit the website and pick up seed for it if you decide that you want to give it a grow that's about it. That was your pod review for the brown jalapeno. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you on the next one. Take care.